The sister of a man murdered in Fells Point is demanding answers from the judge who released his accused killer on bail. That ruling has also drawn criticism from the police union and some lawmakers. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren stays on the story live at the Fraternal Order of Police. Mike? Vic, the police union president says, sadly, people are simply not shocked by decisions like this anymore. You often hear people say, only in Baltimore does this kind of thing happen. The victim's sister is hurting tonight. We don't care about brother anymore. It's not fair to us here. And y'all let a man walk free. Renita Beeman is devastated over the murder of her twin brother, Rodney Beeman Jr. And she spoke to us from her home in Ohio, where she has a message for the judge who released his accused killer, Philip West, on bail. Really? Really, judge? That's how you feel? Because how dare you? What message you send to everybody in Baltimore? Police say West shot her brother to death inside a bar in Fells Point four days before Christmas. They considered him armed and dangerous. West waited until this week to turn himself in, and Judge Michael Studdard then released him on $100,000 bail and electronic monitoring the next day. He shot him six times. Six times. Can't nobody tell me he didn't mean to kill him. He left him dead. If there is no deterrent, then people are going to be more willing to commit crimes. They're going to start feeling that they can just do whatever they want to do because if the judge say so, they're going to be able to walk free anyway. West's attorney, Ken Ravenel, said his client is no danger or flight risk. He wrote, people seem to forget until it's one of their loved ones that a defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty. The president of the police union, Sergeant Mike Mancuso, called the judge's decision abhorrent and wrote, I believe that at some point, the silent majority of our citizens will have had enough and demand accountability from everyone involved in the fight against crime. The state's attorney says the suspect should never have been allowed to have a weapon because of a past federal drug conviction. There's been no ruling yet on her new motion filed yesterday to ask the judge to change his mind about bail. Reporting live at FOP headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ.